So this is about uh, a, a hackathon project that we built a few months back now called Graph X-Ray. Um, it's a Chrome Edge and a Windows browser extension. Um, and it basically lets you get a sneak peek into the graph API calls that are happening behind the scenes on, on any app, any web app that's basically using Graph API. Um, so just a quick intro about, intro about myself. I'm a product manager in the Azure Active Directory team. Uh, I'm from Melbourne, Australia, and you can follow me on Twitter where I post uh, updates about this project. Right, so I'll just give you a quick demo, then I'll uh, talk about like why uh, and how we uh, built this and show you a few cool things, right? So I'm looking at the Azure AD portal. Uh, I go into something maybe like the users or the groups blade, and you can see here on the right hand side, once you have the Chrome or the Edge extension installed, you'll be able to see uh, the API calls that are happening behind the scenes. So uh, just to get the list of these groups, you can see all these PowerShell commands that are being run. Um, if you're not a PowerShell person, you want to see what's happening behind the scenes on JavaScript or C Sharp, you can do that as well. So as I click through, I navigate within the portal. As the portal is making Graph API calls, I can see what's happening behind the scenes. And it gives me a really quick way to get into, like, you know, what's happening, how you can reuse the same sort of code in your own project without having to do a lot of you know deep diving or digging into the uh, the actual apis so it gives uh, a really nice view into um, the the flow so uh, why did i do this um or uh, we and the the team that we uh, worked on why did we build this what happened was we in, before graph spray uh, what we used to do was we would just go into the Azure portal. We would try to do something, right? Let's say I want someone ask me, hey, how can I get a list of all the dynamic groups in in the in, in my tenant, right? So I know how to do that using the UI. So I can do something like, okay, uh, where all the membership type is dynamic, I hit apply and I get a list of all the dynamic groups. Now, how do I get the API for that? If you go look in the um, in the API for get group or list groups, um, you don't really find really good examples of how to do that. Uh, there are some basic ones. And so you need to do a bit, little bit of digging around to understand how to use OAuth, the, the data filter, the data filters, and so on. Um, so this, uh, and then before Graph X-Ray, what I would do is I would open out uh, the network tab, then I would do this sort of clear everything, do this refresh or the filter again. I would see the call. Then, you know, I can drill through into this and finally get to the uh, sort of the API call that's happening behind the scene. And, you know, it's not really that easy to see, but you get to something like this, right? So where you see the actual call that's being made, right? So, um, that's that's when we came up with the idea like why not take this and show it in a you know nice uh, more easily consumable way and we came up with the initial idea of creating graph x-ray right so um this is how you you can get to that so i'll try, i'll show you the same thing uh when uh, let's say i want to see the partial command for that i'll do a filter get the membership type that's dynamic and you can see I get a list of uh, like the PowerShell command that does this. Now for PowerShell, one thing to remember is that, uh, so how does this get powered, right? So we, you saw in the network view, you saw that it was just the REST API, right? But how do we get the PowerShell commands uh, and you know all the different language commands for this? Um, that's a, a neat reuse of what we what's powering the API behind, you know, for example, these examples. So uh, when the docs team write this, they just do the REST API example, and all of these things are auto-generated. So we have a backend sort of a DevX API that takes the REST and converts it to uh, the corresponding language. So what we do here in the uh, extension is call into that API to get the, um, the PowerShell and all the different languages. 
So one thing to remember is that this is the pre PowerShell side of it is slightly in preview. So you might need to do some bit of tweaks here. For example, these plus signs, they don't work in PowerShell. So, you know, you might need to um, copy them, make a few changes. Uh, let me show you. So I, I put that here, but I might have to remove the sort of the plus signs here to make it work, right? So there you go. I, I copied the PowerShell command and I was able to just run that uh, off uh, my uh, the this console session that I was logged into. So a really quick and easy way to find the graph PowerShell command alert or you know your favorite language version, switch to that and uh, get to the data from there. Um, what else did I want to say? Yeah, so if you go to graphxray.mail.net, I think thanks uh, Fabian and David shared this. Uh, you have the links to all of the different extensions. Uh, you can get them. There's a desktop uh, app as well. Um, and yeah, cool, easy way to get into things. Uh, feel free to share feedback. Follow me on Twitter and give us feedback on how we can improve them. Over to you, Ethel. Thanks a lot for having me here. Excellent. Thank you, Meryl, on that one. Let, let's close the call, but let's follow up on any questions on the chat for sure. Uh, it's just easier. I don't think there was a immediate questions. People are like amazed. This is really cool. So it, it just makes it easier. And and thank you for clarifying also how did you do that? Because that opens up another layer of, oh, that's actually clever because we could use the similar model for something else as well. But that, that's actually really cool. It, it makes it easier for knowing what's happening behind the scenes and the business case yeah, is so yeah. so understandable it's excellent yeah. like you can open the teams web app and then you know your people are building apps now within teams yep. so you can easily pull this up and you can see what the, the graph api calls that have been made so yeah, a really that, quick way to get into things that's actually really cool as well so awesome stuff absolutely thank you meryl on that one cool. really really cool stuff and and please 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 do give meryl feedback on that one and if yep. people and attendees in this call have other ideas related on this, maybe Meryl and the team will evolve that uh, or take contributions on the tool as well. So really, really cool stuff. Awesome stuff. Cool. Awesome.